rich man's mindset is not the same as a poor man's broken spirit. A rich man's mindset does not sit there and dwell on the past. The rich man's mindset will be the example for other rich men or other people that want to be rich to emulate. The rich man wants and prepares for his future. He plans his future. He plans his day. He plans his week. He plans his future. And if you want to be rich, if you want to be better than where you are, where you're at in life today, you prepare yourself and you plan for the future. You help plan your children's future by being the example. You prepare them for school, for church, for the future, for junior high, high school, and college. You raise them in the way so they will not depart. The rich man will be su successful because of his um, ability to plan for the future. Today I wanted to talk to you guys about overcoming your circumstances. When you have come come across an idea uh, to start a business to uh, solve a problem, an issue, or somewhere along those lines, God has answered one of your prayers. God has sat there and said, you need to solve your own problem. And you're going to come up with a solution. And God answers prayers by you coming up with a solution to the problem that you have. And if you understand the... Um, the law of attraction, the law of God will give you what you need. And once you learn how to manage the things that you already have. And you can also go to um, the idea of if you do your daily routines and you are sufficient and you are diligent, and you are doing what you need to do on your daily basis, uh, answering the phones, um, doing the marketing, um, that leads to answering the phones, to going out, uh, selling the jobs, going out and doing the work, going out and collecting the money, and you do it at a high efficiency you're going to be prepared to take on the new work, to take on the things that you weren't prepared to do before. Once you learn how to do the small things, you will be ready to do the large things. You will be able to overcome um, any issue, any uh, thing that stands in your way, as long as you have been prepared to take on the next step. And if you're not uh, ready to take on the next step. There will be time for you to learn. But you must be willing to accept. The challenge. And once you're ready. Uh, what do I mean by that? You got to sit there and learn the process. Um, do you need to additional education to take on larger jobs. So if you're in this, just getting started in the lawn business, 
Why do I use this? It's because it's really cheap, affordable way to start a business. Lawn maintenance, lawn care, turf maintenance. You can go out there today and get the basic material. Uh, start off um, with one or two jobs a week. Later in the summer, you might have 30, 50 jobs, you know, uh, accounts uh, per week. Um, once you learn to do the small things, once again, then you'll be willing and ready and after some education to take on the larger jobs of construction, landscape design, hardscape. Um, you might even get into some of the uh, other areas of um, doing construction. Um, where do you want to take your company? Where do you see yourself? Where do you see yourself at the end of the year? In the, the following year? Five years from now? Ten years from now? You have to educate yourself. You got to do self-education constantly so you're willing and ready to take on the next problem. So your solution, your circumstances will always change and you need to be willing and ready to do your daily work so you can be ready and prepared a month from now, a year from now. You'll be able to save up that money and buy the newer and bigger and better equipment. And uh, if you like this video, subscribe to the channel. Thanks again.